Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for a double dose of chaos. That's right, we're cracking open two chaos mystery boxes here for patrons. So without further ado, let's introduce them there, Eric Polanco and Adam Fleischer. So these things are my vision for how a chaos mystery box should be. So we're going to roll one through three for the first row, four through six for the second. We'll narrow it down from there. So five and then one through five. Okay, four for Eric. All right, now we've got six here. Let's see, we got a six. Okay, so that one can go to Adam. And we'll put the rest aside out of the way. And the theme this month is mono red. So we have a lot of mono red goodness here. Let's get into it and thank you for being a patron, Eric. Okay, so what do we have today? We've got some nice selection of packs. We've got a Modern Horizons, Theros Beyond Death, Ikoria, ooh, a nice dragon, and a goblin token, War of the Spark Core 2020, and Throne of Drain. So let's do something like this. And we'll start off here, take a look at the goblin token, yes! So every box this month gets a goblin token. Let's crank the lighting up. There we are. So very shiny. And goblins are my favorite creatures, as you may have guessed. And moving on here with the dragon. We've got a world gorger dragon, creature nightmare dragon, 7746 mana with flying and trample. When World Gorger Dragon enters the battlefield, exile all other permanents you control. And when it leaves the battlefield, return the exile cards to the battlefield under their owner's control. So some nice foiling there that looks like from Eternal Masters. So enjoy the pull there, Eric. Let's get cracking and the patrons get the rares, mythic foils, and anything over a buck. Starting off with War of the Spark. So we're going to get at least one Planeswalker here. Starting off War Screecher, Teferi's Time Twist, Uncrop Invader, Bulwark Giant, Force Landing, Vampire Opportunist, Divine Arrow, Wall of Runes, Arlen's Wolf, Iron Bully, and Uncommon's Moo Loyal Companion, which has been errated. It's now a dog, not a hound. Dovin's Veto. There is a nice one. I'll chuck that in. Samet Tyrant Smasher, and the rare is Dreadhorde Butcher, Creature Zombie Warrior, 1-1 one, one for 2, in the Rakdos colours, yes. He has haste, and whenever Dreadhorde Butcher deals combat damage to a player or Planeswalker, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on Dreadhorde Butcher. And when it dies, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. Okay, very nice, and the Planes and Zombie Army. Moving on to Throne of Eldraino. So we've got a... Dragon there on the pack. Maybe that's a good sign. Starting off with Queen of Ice, Ogre Errant, Foreboding Fruit, Dwarven Mine, Weapon Rack, Brimstone Trebuchet, Golden Egg, Tall as a Beanstalk, Vantress Paladin, Fireborn Knight for the Uncommons, Lucky Clover, Okay, my Adversary, and Rare. Oh, this is a nice one. Torbrand, Thane of Redfell, legendary creature, dwarf, noble, 2-4, four, for 4. If a red source you control would deal damage to an opponent, or a permanent an opponent controls it deals that much damage, plus 2 instead. This is very much on theme today, excellent. And a foil elite headhunter. With a island, and we're on an adventure, on to Theros Beyond Death. Okay, so we are going titan hunting here. Have not pulled any Titans in a good long while. We've got Hero of the Games, Indomitable Will, Stern Dismissal, Nixborn Brute, Discordant Piper, and this is how I play two flutes at once. Incredible, I know, and you again. Gift of Strength, what is your strength? I think his strength is confusing the heck out of people. Still don't know what that thing is. If you've got any ideas, leave a note in the comments. Revoke Existence, Memory Drain, Unknown Shores and Uncommons, Entrancing Liar, Phalanx Tactics, Nessian Hornbeetle, and Temple of Malice. Enters Battlefield tapped, when it enters Battlefield, scry one, tap it for black or red. 
And a foil rare, Allure of the Unknown. We're getting all the Rakdos cards today. Sorcery for five. Reveal the top six cards of your library and opponent exiles an online card from among them. Then you put the rest into your hand. That opponent may cast the exile card without paying its mana cost. And a forest and a kraken token. I'll put the kraken in as well. You can never go wrong with a kraken on two. Core 2020. Core 2021 is nearly here, people. A couple of weeks and we'll be kraken packs there too. All right, we have angelic gift. Metropolis Sprite, Plummet, Winged Words, Unholy Indenture, Griffin Sentinel, Agonizing Siphon, Frost Lynx, Pack Mastiff, and Uncommon's Fencing Ace, Gruesome Scourger, Tonebound Lich, and Rare is Flood of Tears. Sorcery for six. Return all non-land permanents to their owner's hands. If you return four or more non-token permanents you control this way, you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. Good deal. And a foil master splicer. A planes and soldier token. All right, so Ikoria, what do you have for us? Maybe one of those companions or a planeswalker or a triome. That's really what we're going for. Go for blood, spontaneous flight, dark bargain, blister spit gremlin. Essence Scatter, Night Squad Commando, Plummet, Dranith Healer, Raking Claws, Uncommon Charge of the Forever Beast, Sanctuary Lockdown, Storm Wild Caprador, and this bird goat's face is just hilarious. Ooh, I think he'd make a noise like that. And the rare is Gigantha the Wellspring, Legendary Creature Elemental Elk 5 5 for 5 with Companion. No card in your starting deck has more than one of the same mana symbol in its mana costs. You can tap to add every color of magic. This mana can't be spent to pay generic mana costs. And a foil parcel beast. We're getting tons of foils today. And a forest and no table required in the arena. I've been doing a bunch of deck techs in arena lately. And you may have seen them. Maybe you didn't. Or oh, pop a link up in the corner. You can check them out if you missed those. Having a lot of fun. If you've got any suggestions for decks you'd like to see, definitely leave a note in the comments. Okay, Illusion Token, Non-Foil, um, Wings of Abandon, that's it. Snow-Covered Swamp, and a Pashalic Mons, Rare Goblin, Legendary Creature, Goblin Warrior. 2-2 two, two for 3, so another on-theme card. Never Pashalic Mons, or another Goblin you control dies. Pashalic Mons deals 1 damage to any target. For three in a red, sack a goblin. You get to create two one one red goblin creature tokens. Fantastic. And a mythic sword of sinew and steel. Artifact equipment for three equipped creature gets plus two plus two and has protection from black and from red. Oh well. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, destroy up to one target planeswalker and up to one target artifact. You can equip it for two. Very nice pull. And a scuttling sliver for the uncommons grave shifter. Ingenious Infiltrator, and a Putrid Goblin for the Commons. Magmatic Sinkhole, Weather the Storm, Winter's Rest, Nimble Mongoose, Water a Witch, Creature Goblin Shaman, and Goatnap, yes. Best artwork in the set, I'm going to chuck that in as well. Recruit the Worthy, and Fairy Seer. Okay, so you may have noticed those packs are the other way around. I think they're printed in Japan. So that's what they do with those. All right, so there we are, Eric. Enjoy the pools. Very much on theme stuff this month. All right, Adam, you're up next. Thank you for being a patron, sir. What goodies do we have for you today? <clears throat> okay, pop that over there. We got Modern Horizons, Battle for Zendikar. Ikoria, ooh, that's spicy. We got an invocation, another goblin, a Throne of Eldraine, War of the Spark, and Ravnica Allegiance. So let's do BFZ first. We can go lottery card hunting there. Let's do something like this. So we looked at the goblin already, but this, I am a huge fan of the invocations, even though they are almost impossible to read. So they're from Armanket or Hour of Devastation, the masterpiece series. Shatterstorm. So this is a sorcery for four. Okay, destroy all artifacts. They can't be regenerated. Look at that foilage. 
Fantastic. All right, so enjoy the pull there, Adam. Let's carefully pop that back in the sleeve and get cracking. BFZ, do not let us down as you have so often in the past. Starting off with Earthen Arms Incubator Drone, which is funny, we're actually going back to Zendikar. Uh, Zendikar Rising is the set later this year, so can't wait for that. Calastria Healer, Lava Step Raider, Creature Goblin Warrior, Fortified Rampart, Ra Ruin, Ruin Processor, I thought it said Rain Processor, that didn't make any sense. Bone Splinters, Brood Hunter Worm, Mortuary Mire, Titan Coils, An Uncommon's Processor Assault, Hagra Sharpshooter, Hedron Archive, and the rare is Brood Butcher, Creature Eldrazi Drone, 3 3 for 5. So it has Devoid, this card has no color. When it enters the battlefield, put a 1 1 color Eldrazi Sign Creature token onto the battlefield. It has Sack this Creature, add 1 to your mana pool. And for a black and green Sack of Creature, target creature gets minus 2 minus 2 until end of turn. Alright, and a Full Art Planes, I'll put that in. And Elemental token. Okay, moving on. War of the Spark. We got Honor the God Pharaoh, Rising Populous Stealth Mission, Toll of the Invasion, Crow Stinger, Relentless Advance, Centaur Nurturer Demolish, Lazatep Reaver, Defiant Strike, Uncommons Mayhem Devil, Lazatep Plating, Watley the Sun's Heart for the Planeswalker and a mythic finale of devastation. Sorcery for X and two green. Search your library and or graveyard for a creature card with command amount of cost X or less and put it onto the battlefield. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. If X is 10 or more creatures to control get plus X plus X and gain haste until end of turn. Fantastic pull and a mountain and citizen token. On to Throne of Eldraino. So did anyone see the earlier video? I did it on Saturday, I believe. The Secret Lair Ultimate Edition. So if you like fetch lands, you do not want to miss that one. I'll pop a link up in the corner. Check it out if you haven't already. Next pack we have True Love's Kiss, Witching Well, Tempting Witch, Spellcap Spider. Lockthrain Paladin, Witch's Cottage. Oh, the witch voice is getting a workout this episode. Marily Frida, Silver Flame Ritual, Searing Barrage, Uncommons, Elite Headhunter, Foulmire Knight, Witch's Oven, seriously, and Rare, Return of the Wild Speaker, Instant for five. Choose one, draw cards equal to the greatest power among non human creatures you control, or non human creatures you control, get plus three, plus three, and two end of turn, and a foil. Forest, just a basic forest there, a plains, and we're on an adventure. Back to Ikoria. So, what? Oh, I know, yeah, the triomes. We want to get a triome here. Extended art, preferably. We got a Helica Glider Nightmare Squirrel. That is a terrifying sight. Capture Sphere for all your Pokemon needs. Lava Serpent, fully grown, dead weight. Sleeper Dart. Memory Leak! Who am I? Where am I? What just happened? Oh, oh, uh, yeah, I don't know what's happening. Greater Sandworm, and that gag is getting real old now. Spring Jaw Trap. Rumbling Rock Slide. Uncommon's Clash of Titans. Unbreakable Bond. Insatiable Hemophage. That's me when I uh, am a little thirsty, need to drink lots of water. It's a hot day, it's summer now. And the rare, Genesis Ultimatum Sorcery for 7. Look at the top 5 cards in your library. Put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest into your hand. Exile Genesis Ultimatum. And a Bloodfill Caves and one of these Punch-Out cards, which are nowhere near as good as the ones in the uh, bundles, I believe. Or is it the pre-release packs or both? So much thicker cardboard. All right, Ravnica Allegiance, do not let us down. Hydroid Crasis would be ideal. We've got a Coral Commando, Feral Marker, Concordia Pegasus, Carrion Imp, Steeple Creeper, Grotesque Demise, Sphinx's Insight Burn Bright, Senate Courier, Azorius Knight Arbiter, Uncommons Biogenic Upgrade, 
Galloping Lizrog. That is just hilarious. A split card here. Incubation and incongruity and rare. Guardian Project. Enchantment for four. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, if it doesn't have the same name as another creature you control or a creature card in your graveyard, draw a card. And an Orzov Guildgate and a Frog Lizard token. Okay, Modern Horizons. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. We've got a non-foil shapeshifter. Uh, something Despair, Force of Despair, yes, Snow Covered Forest, and now we will slow roll things, okay, no foil, Uncommons Rebuild, Abominable Tree Folk, Throat Seeker, Lancer Sliver, Iceberg Cancrix, Crozan Tusker, Return from Extinction, Windcaller Avon, Ninja of the New Moon, Bellowing Elk, he's bellowing for Oko! Where are you, sir? Stirring address, scale all possibilities, and via Shino Sand Sprinter. Okay, so will it be a big finish? Or a disappointing letdown? Let's check it out, and I nearly dropped the card, holy cow. Kaya's Guile. It's an instant for three, choose two. Each opponent sacrifices a creature, exile cards from each opponent's graveyard. Create a 1-1 one -one white and black spirit creature token with flying, or you gain four life, or entwine three. Choose all if you pay the entwine cost. Yes, that's the full buffet there, and you can pay extra to get a very nice cake at the end. All right, there we are, Adam. Enjoy the pools and that uh, invocation. I'm a little jealous there. All right, I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.